TDA is suspected of starting as a Venezuelan prison gang before spreading to a cartel organization that now dominates the flow of migrants from South America into the United States. Hey, they have a target on their back and we're going after them. We have one goal and that is to arrest them and make them understand uh, that Texas is the wrong state for them to be trying to do business in. Hello everyone. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is not playing any games. Turns out that we have an alleged TDA gang member captured in El Paso, Texas. Additionally, immigration officials have stated that they have detained 70 alleged TDA smelly gang members. I did not see this information on any American news channel, but I did come across it on some Spanish networks. And so as soon as I watched it, I said, we have to talk about this because you need to know what is going on. So I will go ahead and translate a couple of these reports for you. But before we continue, we have some breaking news. Eric Adams becomes the first sitting NYC mayor to be indicted on federal charges. And all of this comes ironically right after he heavily criticized the Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's administration on the handling of the migrant crisis. This is what happens when you're under a regime. They have information on each other. And if you act out, well, we'll take you out. Now back to the beautiful state of Texas. So Texas is offering up to $5,000 for information on TDA Smelly gang members. It's unfortunate and sad, but it's the truth. Oh, and before I forget, Kamala Harris wants to give them a pathway to citizenship. If the American people will have me, I will bring that bill back and I will sign it into law. And we need a comprehensive plan that includes what we need to do to fortify not only our border, but deal with the fact that we also need to create pathways for people to earn citizenship. They're not even denying it anymore. Imagine voting for that. Let's get started. All right, so let's jump into the translation. Le llaman el tren de Aragua, una banda criminal. They're known as the TDA Gang, a criminal organization that comes from Venezuela. They have spread throughout South America. Their business is drug trading, human trafficking, and extortion, and killing. And here is uh, Daniel. He is an ex. FBI agent and he's saying that the TDA gang members are way worse than the MS-13 gang and they are now in the state of New Jersey, Florida, Texas, California, Colorado, and so on. Texas Governor Greg Abbott declared war on this gang and they are pursuing the gang heavily. Now they're offering up to $5,000 for information on their members. The governor assures uh, the people of Texas that TDA has spread and is responsible for terror and massacres in each of the countries that they pass by. But Texas will not allow them to establish themselves. A lot of people are happy with what the governor is doing. And this lady is a Venezuelan immigrant. She's an activist uh, for the Venezuelan people, but she is actually in favor of what uh, the governor is doing. She says the moment that he declares this group as a terrorist group, which they are, he is acting like a true leader for which he was elected 
to defend us, the Texans. So I'm guessing she's an American. She's a Venezuelan American because the way she's speaking makes sense, right? The governor also announced a function that the state is taking to form a specific group to track and hunt these members who are responsible of many attacks throughout the state and have also tainted the image of Venezuelans in this country. And here is a Venezuelan immigrant uh, that he's saying, not only are they tarnishing our Venezuelan uh, community, the Venezuelan community's image, but they're also damaging good people. They're harming good people, he says. The journalist continues, some members have been arrested for robberies and attacking police officers in New York City. Additionally, they are being accused of murders in the state of Florida. Julius Cesar and Jury Salazar, they are allegedly part of this TDA gang and they allegedly murdered a retired police officer. This is a huge problem because they are very organized and extremely violent. You would be able to send any information or tips via an online form, according to officials, and it would be confidential. Hey, at least I'm glad to see some Venezuelans calling out these violent, smelly rodents. Let's jump into the next report. Con esta publicación en redes sociales, el gobernador de with this post, Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced the detention of an alleged Venezuelan TDA gang member. This happened in El Paso, Texas, and he celebrated it. He mentioned that he was proud of this and this is the way to do it, meaning hunting these animals down. He also said that the state of Texas is offering up to $5,000 for information on these TDA gang members. Some officials are saying that the governor wants to get ahead of these uh, gang members before they terrorize the entire state. He wants to prevent Texas from dealing with the situations that occurred in Colorado and New York, where we know that a lot of those crimes occurred due to this gang. Indeed, the state of Texas is offering up to $5,000 for information on these individuals who crossed the border. You can do it by reaching out to any of these numbers. Officials say that the community is being extremely useful and helpful right now. However, some residents are scared of speaking out. This Venezuelan immigrant just moved to the state of Texas and she told me the following. So she says, I think this is great, but I don't know how people would be able to denounce these gang members because they can come after you. Remember, there, there are a lot of Venezuelans here in the US, but we also have families in Venezuela. So she's saying that they can come after their families over there back in Venezuela. This is an issue that Texas officials may encounter when seeking information because some people may be scared. But officials tell us that any information they receive, they will keep the person anonymous. Officials say that they will not share the information with anyone so that they can, they, they don't have to worry about their safety. The TDA gang was formed in a Venezuelan prison, and from there they spread to Ecuador, Colombia, and Peru, and more. Abbott says that some of them have certain tattoos, 
like this star and uh, and sentences or phrases like real until death or son of God. Now, I'm not calling Satan's daughter a TDA gang member, but she did or does call herself daughter of God. So I just find that very interesting, right? Anyway, let's move on. Natalia, the Venezuelan immigrant, knows how terrible it is to live under or around this gang. She says you cannot go out. You have to hide your phone when you're walking on the streets. You can't have cash on you. You're always scared that they can kill you. If they want your shoes, they can kill you just for that or for a necklace or your phone. The journalist says per Border Patrol officials, this recent arrest occurred on September 18. And it's in addition to another 70 alleged TDA gang members that are now behind bars. All right, and this is the last report. En su lucha por erradicar al tren de Aragua de Texas, el gobernador Greg Abbott. Governor Greg Abbott is in a battle with TDA gang members, and he's even offering a $5,000 reward for information on TDA gang members. This group is involved in drug trade, weapon trafficking, human trafficking, and various of their members are accused of major crimes in Texas, Georgia, Florida, and New York. Texas officials are concerned that they will continue to expand their influence throughout America. This official says the difference between TDA and other gangs is their tattoos. Let's say they don't really identify themselves as easy as other gang members do. And here they are sharing the information that we just watched where this uh, alleged TDA Smelly gang member was arrested and the other 70 that have also been arrested. She says, this announcement comes right after Governor Greg Abbott labeled them as a foreign terrorist organization. This seems to be a migrant and he says, this is not right that you come here to commit crimes. You're supposed to come here and work hard and be good. The journalist says a lot of Republicans, including President Trump, have connected these crimes to a lot of Venezuelan migrants crossing the border. And this former GOP candidate says that Biden and Harris have done nothing to protect this country. The only thing they have done is allow and promote the entry of illegals. The journalist says, but some activists are concerned that these types of comments will incite a dangerous narrative towards the immigrant community. And then here's the activist crying loud and proud. And he says, we're okay that they follow and go after gang members, but we are against the way they speak about the subject. The report ended right there. So that last activist is concerned over the tone and the language that the governor and others are using when describing these gang members. Oh, poor thing. Well, these are violent roaches that need to be squashed immediately. So kudos to Governor Abbott for fighting this war against foreign terrorists. Guys, thank you for watching the video. Do not forget the shout outs are down below. Smash the like button, subscribe, share the video with at least one person, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time.